Hi, let me take you through how you can use the offset function in Excel to create dynamic ranges. Okay, so here we have a template that we're going to fill in. We're going to start with some raw data. This raw data isn't formatted. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some Excel shortcuts. I'm just going to do Control C and go Control Page Up and then Control V. Go Control Page Down. Let's capture that rest of the data. Control C, Control Page Up. And then I'm going to go Alt ES, that's Pay Special, and I'm just going to do the values. So now we have our values, but before we get to the offset function, I just want to clean up this data. So I'm going to hit Control 1 for Format Cell, and I'm just using the Tab key, and I'm going to go to Number. I want zero decimals. I want a separator, and by the way, I'm just using Tab to navigate through these, and I want negative numbers with parentheses. I'm just going to hit tab one more time. That will allow me to hit OK. Good, we've got those numbers formatted. Now let's get to the offset function itself. So let's imagine we want the total of one year, or we want the total of two years, we want the total of four years, or we want the total of eight years. And we want to let the user of the spreadsheet determine whether they want a total one year, four years, or eight years. And they can do that by just changing what's in cell C3. Let's actually now work in column C, and I'm just going to use the offset function as I've talked about. We're going to say equal sum, and it's going to be the first year. I'm going to put a colon there, and then I'm going to use offset. And the offset function works by saying, where do you want to start? So we want to start in cell F10, and then we're telling Excel how many rows and columns to move. Now, we don't want to change our row, so we're going to put a zero next, but we do need to move columns based on what the user of the spreadsheet puts in C3. So we're going to move up to C3. We're going to hit F4 to lock down that reference. Just so you know how this function works, that basically says move across three columns from where we are, which would put us actually in year four. We don't want year four. We want to sum three years. So what we're going to have to do is put a minus one there so it only actually goes across two columns, but sums the whole three years. We're going to put two parentheses. Let's see how it works. Let's just try it out. Let's do, we want a total for one year, eight years. And then let's just do a sanity check by going equal sum. And let's just sum those eight years to make sure it is working. That's great. So let's do it one more time. This time, let's do it with average. And I'm going to just reset that. So we're going to do equals average, open brackets. We're going to start with our first number, which is F10. We're going to put a colon. And then we're going to do offset. Where do we start? Again, we start in F10. We don't want to change rows, so we're going to put a 0. We do want the user of the spreadsheet to be able to determine how many years. So we have to highlight, this case, C4. We're going to put dollar signs by hitting F4, but remember that's going across actually to year 4, so we have to subtract 1 so that it is only summing the 3 years. We put two parentheses. Let's just make sure it works by doing a sanity check. Average of 3 years. Looks great. Again, now the learner or the user of the spreadsheet can actually just adapt the ranges based on what they prefer to see. Last little shortcut, let's just do highlight, go down, Control D is fill down, and we are done.